Coming up on your Thursday footy feed. Simon Goodwin hits back at Crows footy director Mark Rusciuto, labelling his comments on Jake Lever unfair. No concerns, Brody Grundy good to go while a young magpie gets a reprieve. And can the Hawks bounce back against Richmond tonight? We've got all the latest team news and market updates before the big clash. Hello there, Melbourne coach Simon Goodwin has hit back at ex-Crows Premiership player Mark Rusciuto after comments he made about the contract of defender Jake Lever. On radio yesterday, Rusciuto was critical of several ex-Crows, suggesting Lever was a $500,000 player, despite signing a five-year deal worth around $800,000 with the Ds. Goodwin responding today, saying the Adelaide football director was out of line. I think it's unfair for Jake to have that thrown out there. First and foremost, I just don't think it's right. Um, Jake and I had a good laugh about it this morning uh, once I got the information that it that had taken place and just reassured him that um, you know, we, we love what he brings to our footy club. And you now he's a class act, Jake. He'll just get on with it. The Dees face Essendon on Sunday. Cozzy Pickett to return after being suspended last week for breaching COVID-19 protocols. Well, Collingwood coach Nathan Buckley has hosed down concerns over the fitness of star ruckman Brodie Grundy, declaring he will be fit to face the Saints on Saturday. Grody copped a knock to his knee against the Tigers last Thursday night, but trained fully with his teammates this morning. The coach telling reporters the star magpie is good to go. Yeah, it was a bit of a knee on knee, um, so a bit of a bit of uh, bone bruising that he was able to get through. You know, he's, he trained fully today, so no, he's he's right to go. He is a warrior. There's no doubt that um, you know, he just he just gets it done. Forward Jaden Stevenson looks sharp on the track and will come into the Pies lineup along with midfielder Rupert Will. Swans coach John Longmire will go head to head in the coaches' box against former Sydney player and assistant Reese Shaw on Saturday. The Roos are the number one pressure team in the competition. Longmire hoping to outcoach his former mentee. He was here for a long time, but he certainly got them playing fierce football, and that's a that's a real credit to him. That doesn't mean that you go any easier. On, the, on game day, you wish them all the best and hope they go well in their careers except when they play you. So that's the, that's, all, that's the obvious one. The Crows are confident skipper Rory Sloan will recover from a corked thigh in time to face Gold Coast on Sunday. Defender Jake Kelly is also expected to be fit to play after suffering a concussion last weekend against the Power. Richmond will head into tonight's clash against Hawthorne without superstar Dustin Martin. The dual Norm Smith medalist is out with rib soreness. Liam Baker, the other change after he returned home to Western Australia for a family matter. Josh Caddy returns from injury while Jack Ross also comes into the side. Just the one change to the Hawks' side. Jager O'Meara back in after missing last week with a facial fracture. Harry Morrison making way. To get the latest market moves now ahead of tonight's game, let's cross to Nathan Brown from Sportsbet Brownie. After a disappointing performance last week, can the Hawks bounce back and topple the Tigers? Uh, it's a good question you ask, Nat, because Jaeger O'Meara comes back in and Dustin Martin out has to help the Hawks cause. $1.38 the Tigers were when Dustin Martin went out, out to $1.54, but... Everything Hawthorne do has to be perfect against the Tigers. And I'm not sure they can keep that up for four quarters. I think the Tigers should be able to win this game, even without Martin. Now, but same game multi. Dion Prestia, 20 or more disposals. He had it 25 games in a row. And Higgins and Bolton to be in any time goal scorer. Let's move on to Friday night footy. And where do you go with this one? The Giants were terrible last week. The Dogs have been deplorable two weeks in a row. I'm happy to give the Giants a pass on last week and get them back. And I think they should be able to beat the Dogs. Here is my same game multi. Canelio to get 20 or more disposals. Bruce to kick a goal at any time. And Perryman, what a find he has been. Four goals and two goals. So that is my same game multi. And... For the whole weekend, here is my best bet for the weekend's multi. I'm going to take Richmond Thursday night head-to-head. -head. I'm then going to take North Melbourne to win at the line and Gold Coast to win at the line. Gets to a pretty good price. Good luck if you're punting this weekend and gamble responsibly. Thanks, Brownie. And finally today, we've got some exclusive vision from the Queensland hub. The Eagles teeing off during the week. Midfielder Andrew Gaff off to a shaky start. Yeah, shank the first board. The ball looked like the size of an ant on the first tee, so it was never going to hit that well, but it was just nice to get out and do a few different things. And um, It's been a 
challenging week for us up here, but it's been really good. And if we can start doing a few more things over here, like, like playing golf yesterday, will be really good for us and also the mental well-being. Gaff plays game 200 on Saturday night when the Eagles face the Lions at the Gabba. And that is the news for this Thursday. For all of your footy news, keep clicking back to afl.com.au and the AFL Live official app. Enjoy the footy.